Toki Doki, we're back. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us on your Beat Terrific continuing live coverage of Comic Con 2014. We're here streaming live to geekbeat.tv, uh, planet5d.com, and of course, beatterrific.com, as well as a whole slew of other syndication partners. Thank you so much for watching. We're doing this with the Padcaster. I've got Simone here from Toki Doki. Thank you so much for joining us. I know you got to get back to a signing you're doing. You've got a line bigger than I've ever seen here. It's unbelievable. Congratulations on the success, first of all. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, and, I uh, love all these designs. Thank talk you. About, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> talk about this this one right here on the sweatshirt. This is like my favorite, I think. How did you come up with this? Um, you know, especially for Comic Con, we want to do something related to pop culture. And uh, one of the things of pop culture that I like is very much uh, monsters and kaijus. So, we decided to give this sort of, uh, you know, monster-related and comic-related uh, artwork. I love the shirt you're wearing. I mean, that's like, I think that's my favorite logo you have, absolutely. Oh. Talk about that one. Uh, this is like, uh, you know, like the official logo of the, of the brand is the heart with the crossbones. Because, you know, I do everything like pretty dualistic, you know, there is the romantic side and a rock and roll edgy side, or there is the good and the bad that you can see in my artwork. And uh, I did like a bit of a more masculine rock and roll version, like making a heart up out of two skulls profile. How did you know you wanted to do this? Uh, this as a job. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm drawing since I'm a kid. I always have been drawing. I didn't have much toys, and uh, you know, like so. Since already I was in kindergarten, there was always like my artwork all over the walls. You know, like the teachers already like were seeing that I have a lot of talent. And then uh, when I was teenager, I was in a punk rock band, and I started to do, you know, like some handmade uh, gig uh, concert po posters. And then, uh, you know, and then when I've seen some guys using computer and uh, you know, like some old school versions of Illustrator. I really say, oh, this is what I really want to do. And, uh, you know, just at the beginning, I wanted to be a bit of a, you know, like comic artist. But then I thought with the digital and the flash animation and, uh, you know, like I wanted to jump into the digital. I, I think this hat's really cool. The other hats I've been wearing during the week, that hat's amazing. How do you come up with the designs? Uh, well, like I'm always thinking about it, like really day and night, weekends, airplanes sleeping time like so I'm always like I have some tasks which is like you know I have certain deadlines I have set certain uh, things I want to accomplish so I'm just thinking always about it and uh, if you train your mind to always try like to squeeze reality and uh, you know and you know find some ideas you can find ideas in every uh, simple moment you don't need like to watch some just watch like some inspirational design books or websites um, like, for example, like some of my best ideas came in the most uh, simple moments of my day. So just to always use the example. So you draw inspiration from everywhere? Everywhere, everywhere. So I always say, like, for example, the Cactus Friends, which is like the most uh, a popular property that uh, we have, uh, is like, you know, it came when I was in, in holidays in South Italy, where my father is from, you know, like it was like very boring. It was just like sand and these cactuses, everything was dry in some, you know, the sea. And it was one of these like very hot and lazy afternoons. And then I was watching the cactuses. I said like, they have to give me an idea. They're so cool. So I just said, oh, the shapes are a bit like a bunny, you know, like they look like this, this sort of like bunny-eared uh, plants. And then uh, I came, you know, I started to have some sketches, think about it, why I was dressing these kids in a cactus suit. And I came out with the idea that uh, the world can be cold and scary, so they zip themselves in a cactus suit to protect themselves from the bad How things. How did you get started do, uh, to make, making the clothing and stuff? How did you get into it? Um, you know, like I started with digital first, but you know, I think everybody, like even if you're in a bank rob band, you want to wear a t-shirt with, you know, with your design or your logo. Absolutely, and, uh, I want you, a be terrific hat, yeah, well, you know, shirt. So exactly, absolutely, exactly, and you know, just uh, be proud to wear it and other people to wear it. Like people is the best media. So you know, we just, uh, you know, when I moved to the U.S., like me and my present business partners, we just. Uh, uh, printed like 10, 15 t-shirts. We went to a trade show, in that case was a pool trade show, which was like 
a part of the magic traction Las Vegas and uh, we just put it on the table and then uh, you know it was like a very innovative kind of graphic design and uh, it was a good moment where characters were and you know all the sub character related culture was coming out and uh, just like the buyers responded and then through collaborations like I could bring the brand around. I love how good the quality is. I think that's so yeah. important and clearly it's important to you and, and even like this hoodie you've got the inside is lined yeah. with design. How, how much do you think about the quality when you're, when no, you're designing clothing? No, we're just uh, a bit obsessed with the quality. You know, not everything can come perfect but at least we do our best, you know. Like, I think if you put out, you know, I think that the brand is somehow even my face and I want, you know, I don't want to like a guy or a girl that saves money and sometimes, you know, especially the young ones, and they buy something and then breaks immediately and, uh, you know, but, um, you know, we want to last for a long, long time and I think you have to, people like have to understand that there is a genuine passion behind the brand. It's not just about lots of people now is trying to draw something cute and just try to license it out, squeeze it, make the money and uh, for, for us it's not that. We want to create something unique. Awesome, terrific, thank you so much. It's, it's really phenomenal, I love it. One last question for you, I know you got to get back, but what yeah. would you say to young kids out there who want to do what you do? How would you inspire them and what would you tell them, what advice would you give them? Uh, you know, just uh, believe always in your dream, you know, like especially at the beginning, like it's always defeats and it was for me like, you know, sometimes you, you think that people, you know, doesn't get it, you know, it means that uh, you have to work harder and you have to improve. And, uh, you know, don't give up, you know, like, uh, it's just, uh, I think everybody has always to improve and don't be too much in a hurry to try to do too much. If until you don't feel you, you really became uh, more of a pro, you know, like sometimes, you know, just some people wants to do things too much in a hurry. They just slap some designs that are still pretty mature or not innovative, but just they're in a hurry. And sometimes if you go too, too fast in the market and you try to pitch, your ideas to everybody in the industry, you risk to burn out yourself if you don't have yet the, the thing that you think it's really unique. I think it's great advice. I love all this stuff. I love the fact Thank that you have these little accessories. You got watches, you got all sorts of cute little things too. Everything's cute, makes you smile, it's bright. I love the headbands with the donuts on them. I mean, just everything. Thank We've you. got a wow we wow we Thank you. <laughs> electro kids for you. You push the button, you play some music or talk, and the hair moves. It's gonna make you smile. And we've got a bottle yeah. of Senor Sangria for you as well. SenorSangria.com. Well. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's I will have lots of bluffs. Enjoy, yeah. and it's Toki Doki. Thank you so much, Toki Doki, Toki Doki. It is great stuff. Thank you. We're gonna be right back in just a moment with our live raffle. We're gonna have so much stuff for not only the audience here, but you at home. It's gonna blow you away. Don't go anywhere. We've got a live raffle and then a whole lot more show to wrap up the last day at Comic Con 2014 here in New York City. I'm Michael Artsis. Be terrific. We'll be back right after this. By the way, these guys have been keeping me enclosed the whole time because they're so awesome. Thank you so much. We'll be back right after this. Toki Doki.